If you're a language learner or a language teacher and you're looking to use ChatGPT for speaking, for pronunciation work, for reading and listening, and also for generating grammar worksheets, this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you all of the relevant ChatGPT updates of 2025 that we can use as language teachers or language students. Really hope you like the video, and as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel don't forget to give me some hype points. Let's get started. I'm going to dive straight in and show you how to use ChatGPT to practice speaking. I am using the free tool and this will work in multiple languages. Now, not only will it have a conversation with you and help you to practice your speaking in another language, but it will also review everything that you've done and even provide you with feedback. Let me show you how. Now, one thing, as soon as I click on this button, I'm gonna move into voice mode. I'm gonna give the instructions in English, but I'm gonna speak in Spanish. So I click on this button here, use voice mode. Chat GPT, I'd like to practice my Spanish. My level isn't very good, so can we keep the questions very simple? I'd like you to interview me about my life and what I do. I'd like to do the whole thing in Spanish, but please just ask me one question at a time and keep the questions fairly simple as my level is about B1 in Spanish. Is that okay? Claro que sí. Me parece genial. Empezaremos con preguntas sencillas. Vamos con la primera. ¿Cómo te llamas y de dónde eres? Bueno, soy inglés y me llamo Russell, pero en estos momentos vivo en o paso mucho tiempo en Polonia. Perfecto, muy bien. Ahora, cuéntame, ¿qué te gusta hacer en tu tiempo libre? En mi tiempo libre me gusta tocar la guitarra y también me gusta hacer deportes. Genial, suena muy interesante. Ok, I've clicked on the end button to end the chat, ok? And what I want you to notice straight away is that it actually reviews everything that was being said. And it is possible, for example, for me to click here and replay and listen to what was said. Claro que sí. Me parece genial. Empezaremos con preguntas sencillas. Vamos con la primera. ¿Cómo te llamas y de dónde eres? Now, another quick tip. When you've stopped speaking, it would be possible, for example, to you just ask the question, can you highlight three mistakes I made? Or can you highlight some of the sentences that I could improve? And it will give you some feedback on your performance. Now, be very careful with this. Don't ask it for too much feedback. Otherwise, it's going to overwhelm you. Just ask for maybe two or three key things to help you improve. Okay, really hope you found that useful. And if you did, please click on the like button because it helps me massively to boost the YouTube channel. I'm gonna move on now to look at one of the best updates in 2025, and that is the Canvas. And that allows you basically to build up a whole grammar worksheet in one document. Then you can either print it out or share it, etc. So let's look at what I think was one of the best updates of 2025. So I've clicked on new chat. I'm going to click here and the magic button that you really want is to click down to more and choose canvas. Now let me quickly explain how canvas works. You simply give the instructions to ChatGPT and it will put whatever you want in the canvas. So you could, for example, ask it to write a text for you in a specific language at a specific level with specific grammar, or you could ask it to give you a grammar explanation or make a grammar exercise. Now, what you can then do is say, well, now can you do this? And uh, you can ask for something else, but you can also say, can you put that at the top or at the bottom? And you can build up your document, which you can then print out or share with students, etc. So let me show you this in action. It is fabulous and I use it all the time, both in ChatGPT and in Google Gemini. So I like to actually talk to ChatGPT. So I'm gonna click on this dictate button, but you can write to ChatGPT. I'm gonna click here. ChatGPT, can you make me a table with a clear explanation 
of the way that we can make regular past verbs in English. Can you make this for a student of B1 or A2 level, A2 level in English? Press the tick. That just checks everything and it turns it into text and now send that. And it's going to start to put that into the canvas. Off we go. We get a regular tense explanation and we get the basic information here. Now we could check that through. Okay. And some extra notes. Now I'm going to ask for more information. So I'm going to click here. Again, dictate. Below the grammar table, could you write for me a short text in English using different verbs in the past? And then underneath that text, can you generate for me some comprehension questions to check my understanding of the text? Let's make the text about someone's typical day at work, perhaps a businessman or something like that. And can we make this for an A2 level student? Click. It turns it into text. We then send that and off we go. And it's going to add all that into the same document. This is the incredible thing. So it means that you don't need to copy and paste, you can just produce everything. So now we've got our lovely grammar table. We've got underneath it now our reading text and we've got underneath it some questions. Just a super quick break from the video. If you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. I specialize in technologies for language teachers and for language students. If you're a teacher, you might also want to join up to the newsletter. If you join up to the newsletter, there is actually a free 14 part mini course in the key technologies that we can use in teaching and learning. And nearly everything I share with you is free. And if you want to take it a little bit further and actually have direct training with me, I do have a Patreon group. It's quite popular. And that way you get three additional videos every month. And of course, there's no advertisements in the videos. And more importantly, you get to meet me online once a month where we work with a technology and look how we could use it in the class with our students. Right, let's get back to the video. Now, if we weren't happy with this text, we could ask for it to be a bit longer. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click on the button now. That's absolutely brilliant. But can you make the reading text slightly longer to include more examples of verbs in the past? But please keep the level to A2. And can we produce eight comprehension questions? Click on the tick. And now send that. And now it will edit and update and make the text slightly longer, which you can see it's doing for me. And it's going to be adding more questions. And you can go on. In fact, it's made a lot more questions because it's added and some additional questions. Now, of course, you can just come in and edit anything you want. So if there's anything you weren't happy with, you would have the option to edit and change it. You can just scroll through the text and make any changes that you want to. OK, I'm not going to um, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just going to click here and that will bring me back into the main window. OK, but I can edit any part of the text if I want to do that. Now, this is the important thing. Notice that you can either copy or download. Now, if you click on download, look at the options you've got. Save it as a PDF file, save it as a Microsoft Word file. This is a great way to work and you can use this in many different contexts. OK, I hope you found that useful. I really like the Canvas feature. And if you agree, please click on the like button. I'm going to move on now to look at listening and reading. ChatGPT is excellent for generating text. It's got better and better. And we can listen to those texts as well. Now, there is another tool that I highly recommend 
for language teachers and language students and that's called Ed Cafe because it does so many things. It does a very good job of listening and reading but it also does a great job of, for example, generating uh, quizzes around YouTube videos and round reading material. And if you want to know about Ed Cafe, I'll put a video, a link to the video in the description below. It's one of the most popular technologies I showed in 2025. But for now, I'm going to carry on with ChatGPT and we're going to look at the reading and listening feature. I'll click on new chat. And again, I'm going to use the canvas, really important because this is when you're going to do reading material, it's a great idea to use the canvas, okay? Now, obviously, we can do this in multiple languages. Again, I'm going to I'm going to click on the button here and speak. I just find it much easier to dictate to ChatGPT what I want. And I'm going to produce a reading text with some comprehension questions, but also with some vocabulary. So, first of all, I'm going to start by asking it to write a text. Now, one thing you can do is provide some vocabulary if you've got some words that you want to practice. But I'm simply going to get it to write a uh, text for me about Dubai. And I'm going to just simply get it to write a text about some things to recommend if I visit Dubai. So, I'm going to click here. Can you write a text for me in English about the uh, about Dubai? I'd like you to recommend from, for me five things to visit if I went to Dubai. And can you um, make this for level B2 in English? So an upper intermediate level of English, so quite high level. And underneath the text, after the text, can you highlight in English 10 of the most important words to study to understand the text. Actually, can you put those words first, put the vocabulary first, the 10 words first, and then the text underneath? Click, remember that changes it into text, and then you have to wait until it's done that and click. Now, I've done that on purpose because I want to see if it kind of does it properly, see, and it does. It listens to me. <laughs> it's put the questions first, even with, that's really useful. And then straight underneath, I've got my text and all the words highlighted. Look at that, absolutely brilliant. Now let's add some vocabulary, or let's add some comprehension questions, yeah? Um, so if you like, shorter, longer, more, turn into a comprehension, actually, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna click here. Yes, can you add for me eight comprehension questions to check my understanding? And can you, in a separate key underneath, provide the answers with a quick explanation of each answer? I'm gonna send that now, and hopefully it's gonna to add to the canvas. So for me, it was a big discovery when I realized how the canvas worked and how useful it is. Now, if you want the text read out aloud, just ask for the question, can you read out the text that you have produced? Okay, I should have asked, I should have made that a question, apologies, should have been a question mark there afterwards. But if we come down here, we can see we've got the words, it's, it's redone it basically, and allowing me to click here and read aloud, listen. Sure, here's the full text exactly as it appears in your document, read out loud for you. Pack vocabulary, 10 keywords. One, skyline, the outline of tall buildings against the sky. Two, attraction, a place that draws visitors. Three, architecture, the style and design of buildings. Four, observation deck. Uh -huh. Hope that was useful and you know what to do. If you do like the video, please click on the like button. Massively helps me. Just one last thing. I do have another technology that was a massive uh, find for me in 2025. It's called TurboScribe. It allows you to extract the transcript from any YouTube video, but then work with it really effectively and search for vocabulary, etc. It's an excellent technology and it's free. And I'll put a link to TurboScribe TurboScribe to the video about TurboScribe below in the description as well. Thank you very much.
Okay, really hope you liked that video. And if you did, then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads more free videos. Look at all the different menu items at the top of the screen here. If you're a teacher and you want to keep up a little bit more with the work I do, we often organize webinars, online courses, etc. Then sign up to the newsletter. And if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a free 14 part mini video course in using technology in language teaching and nearly everything I suggest is free. If you want to take it a little bit further then think about joining me on Patreon. If you join Patreon you get uh, extra videos every month with no advertising. I just go straight into the training. Lots of ideas about how you can use the technologies in the class with your students and you also get the chance to meet me online once a month for some direct training and that's a real opportunity for you to practice using the technologies with me and finally if you want to go even further uh, join me on my very popular course technologies and approaches to blended hybrid and online teaching i do that in collaboration with nile that is the norwich institute for language education a very prestigious organization in the uk and that course has been running for many years and is very popular. Thank you very much. I'm going to leave a few more videos on the screen now that you might find useful.